Hello, everyone. Sorry, it's been a rough weekend. Um, one of my favorite sayings is that there are no privileged frames of reference. It's one of my favorite concepts in physics, um, or preferred frames of reference, um, is another way of looking at it, another way of saying. And boiled down to what it, its essential meaning, as it were, um, is that anybody who talks about absolute morality or absolute anything really is kind of fucked because there's no way to access it. Um, and it may not even exist as a concept we can understand. And the reason why it fascinates me is because it is so damned hard for most of us to see it for the first time. As an example, imagine you're flying in a plane with all the windows closed. The plane is not encountering any turbulence and isn't ascending or descending or accelerating or decelerating. Just a smooth flight. How do you know you're moving? A better way to conduct this experiment is to fall asleep on a plane when you know the windows are closed, or in a car or in a van that's driving down a straight highway like in the Great Plains or something, and wake up and without asking, without looking out any windows, try and tell whether you're moving or not. Admittedly, that can be pretty easy. All you have to do is feel the vibrations in the wheels. But Try a, sail, try a boat on a still day. Try without looking at the shoreline to tell whether you're moving or not in a boat that's adrift. It's really hard to tell. As a matter of fact, under ideal conditions, it's impossible to tell. Ideal conditions being you sealed inside of a uh, something that's isolated from the environment um, to, to where you can actually perceive anything but your own motion. Because we don't sense motion. We sense acceleration and deceleration. We sense change. In fact, that's the basis of our perception of time, is change. That's how we, that's what a clock is, something that measures a repeated change. A periodical change, if you will. And the reason why this presents such great problems to people who believe in absolute morality and at the same time gives them a boost is that you cannot see outside your frame of reference. You can guess about it. You can maybe infer some things that might be true about it. But you can't describe what you don't know. You can't paint something you can't see. You can paint your imagining of it, but that's still not without what's out there. You can paint things that don't exist. You can be wrong. If you don't know anything about particle physics, and you try talking about particle physics, who knows what's going to come out of your mouth? English speakers in the United States are part of a social frame of reference. Native English speakers are a subset of that frame of reference. Uh, that frame of reference. They, it's, it's a separate. It is a different frame that is a subset of the frame of English speakers in the United States. People who learned to speak English and grew up in Los Angeles are from a different frame of reference than those who grew up learning to speak English in New York City, and especially different from those who grew up in Omaha, Nebraska. You can even say that people who learned, you know, people, two people who grew up in New York City, then one of them went to Japan, learned about the Japanese and Japan, Japanese culture and history, then went to Korea and did the same thing that that is a different frame of reference from a person who first went to Korea and then went to Japan because the context from what they learned of what they learned is different because the judgments they will make based on the knowledge they gained will not be the same
because the way they learned and were introduced to different concepts that did not exist in their initial shared frame of reference will have been learned differently even though theoretically they were exposed to the same set of references along the way. When you first learn about kimchi as a foreign dish, you know, a weird thing that the Japanese hate, and then you learn, it's different than when you learn about it as, oh, a fermented cabbage dish that takes a long time to prepare but is totally worth it. At least when you see all the people being enthusiastic. This is totally taking into, not taking into account the personal tastes of the people involved. But none of this is why people who feel it is possible to impose a culture or a point of view or a moral framework on someone else and have it taken any real way other than a simplified bullshit shorthand that is useless in actually dealing with the real world. So, the same goes true for if you start throwing out things about what women should do on their period, what women shouldn't do, what fish you shouldn't eat, what food you should eat, what clothes you should wear. If you're speaking from a position that does not have information about these things, then essentially all you're doing is either making up or relying on tradition. And this is pretty much the core of my beef with people who proselytize at me, is that they're walking up claiming to have something that, to my knowledge, no one can have. Now, if someone can demonstrate they have it, great. You should be able to define the absolute references for anything. Think about that. The, if you have access to a privileged frame of reference, the privileged frame of reference, the condition of existence which gives all access, access to all knowledge about what everything is doing at any moment, and foreknowledge and post-knowledge of everything that it ever will and has ever done, then you should be able to tell me anything. You should be able to have access to anything. And if you're just saying that, oh, God has this, and he's not giving you anything more than you claim he gave a Bronze Age tribe, or a Middle Ages, an uh, early, early Middle Ages tribe on the Arabian Peninsula, or a Neolithic tribe, depending on how far back you want to go. I mean, somebody's being awfully stingy, stingy with an awful lot of knowledge if you're right. With all the knowledge there is. It's much simpler for me to just go, there are no privileged frames of reference. And even if there is some super powerful critter up there, or some greater being, or whatever, you and I, and other human beings, definitely don't have access to it. So stop talking like you do. Thank you for your time and attention.